So today I thought kind of change it up, do something a little bit of fun today. As you can see the shelf behind me, it is time for a little bit of an update. And if you're following me on social, you know that I am currently in the middle of a rebrand. It is time to get the shelf to get updated with my rebrand. And now that hair is, is a lot lighter, I feel like these orange boxes kind of take away from my hair. So I want the shelf to be more minimalist and still visually appealing, but I don't want there to be so much going on with my hair clashing with the shelf. So today I'm going to do a shelf decor haul and I would love to hear what your thoughts and recommendations are down in the comments because I've got a, quite a few items. They can all work but I'm having a hard time visually figuring out where everything should go. So I'll play around with the styling and everything. So I'll post different pictures um, and then we can vote on those over on my Instagram and probably also my Facebook, which I'll link down below once I have those pictures up. I just would really love to hear your feedback on how to make this look even better and more visually appealing for these videos. So let's dive in. So in case you haven't seen the pictures, my rebrand is very much inspired by my love of the mountains. My favorite season is autumn, travel, things like that. I don't want to give away too, too much yet. So starting out for the decor, this is pretty much what the whole shelf is going to be based around. So this I am absolutely keeping. I'm just not sure where exactly to incorporate it. So the first item here is this really pretty arrow. But I love the quote that says, to move forward, you need to be pulled back and have a lot of resistance and a lot of stretch. And then when you let go, you easily go forward. I forget exactly how that quote goes, but that's kind of the concept of what this is for. I love that quote. Unless you have a different idea. So far I was thinking of using this as a bookend, switch out these boxes right here and have this back there as my as my bookend somehow maybe or somewhere else on the shelf. See this is why I need feedback because I'm not really sure but this is what everything is based around. I went to Michael's and Hobby Lobby for all of this. So the next couple of items also from Hobby Lobby I got this got this coffee like you can't actually drink out of it it's definitely for decoration in case you didn't know I was a barista coffee manager owned two coffee drive throughs as my first career coffee has always been a part of my life not just because caffeine I love coffee but like I love the process it's part of my morning ritual kind of thing so coffee cup I figured I could use that to store some little items in I'm not sure if or where to put this yet. And then, of course, I found this. It was on clearance. So I just grabbed it because J for Jennifer. I'm not sure where or what to do with that. Again, these are from Hobby Lobby as well. Next, next I have this cute little gray owl. Not sure where to put him. I try to find some paint to paint this mug right here. So that's also why I got that tin mug, is because I really wanted a coffee thing behind me. Um, but I could not find the right color to repaint this mug. And I'm going to keep it, but I will not keep this on the shelf unless someone has a way to continue incorporating. I am obsessed with owls. So I wanted to have an owl that kind of blended in more. I didn't want it to be too distracting on my shelf. So I got this little guy. Maybe it'll help if I explain my colors a little bit more. It's going to be like a black, so a couple different shades of gray, which is what the owl was for. I've got like a copper orange. It's like a rusty orange, kind of like my pumpkin up here, or my hair. So that's what they're copper part of my shelf is going to come in as and then a green 
and it's more like a winter sage green. So for the green aspect of it, I got this big bottle. I don't know. It um, actually fits on this shelf behind me, surprisingly. Okay, maybe not. So it, it'll fit on the top shelf. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it was really pretty and I wanted to incorporate some green. So I got that. It's not ideal, but I got it just in case. Um, Because everything I kept finding, it was either black, clear, or gray. And I just didn't want it to be all black and gray behind me. All right. So next, let me get the other green. Of course, I need some storage. I found this really cute green basket. So I definitely want to use that. It is kind of wide. And that'll take up too much space on the shelf. Unless it's like in the middle behind me. But I really want some green to poke out. So I'll probably put it on the shelf like this. Instead of that sideways. So those are the only two things I found that were green. This next thing, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or not, but I just wanted to bring in some more like neutral browns and bring the outdoors in kind of thing. So I found this really pretty little cotton with the jute bag around it. It will fit on that top shelf. Because it is kind of tall. I'm not sure if I want how to incorporate that. I guess it'll go on the opposite side, whatever that bottle is, if we keep that bottle or if we keep this at all. I'm not sure. But I just wanted to bring in some lighter colors. Next, I've got this pretty little clear glass. And I also got like small river rocks to put in here. That's all different shades of white and cream and gray and brown. And I thought that'd be visually pretty and bring some more nature in. Unless you can think of something better to put in that. But that's what I was thinking for that. And I found this other bottle. It's black matte. I'm pretty sure I can use white chalk on it. Which I thought was pretty cool. And it's definitely bigger than the other one. So I figured these bottles could kind of replace. I figured these bottles could replace these two behind me. I mean, that's the only place that I've got in mind for those. Again, would love your feedback on how to incorporate these items. This I love. I definitely want to figure out how to incorporate this somehow. Um, I found this beautiful little bowl. Even though it looks like wood, it's actually pottery. I figure I can use it as a, something for storage. I love my mug over here. I'd like to somehow keep that mug up here uh, if possible. If not, I'll just put it on my desk and then replace this where that mug is and then put like my pens and pencils and stuff right in here instead. So there's that. Next is a little bit of a DIY project. I'm still kind of up in the air about the storage. So if I were to DIY these boxes and kind of update them so they're not orange anymore, I found some adhesive wall decor that I thought would be really pretty. That way it brings in some more of the neutral colors. It's different wood colors. So I would just pick the ones that would match everything else the best. And then I could take that and stick it to the boxes and cut to the size. So that's one option for storage. All right. So the next thing I wanted to bring some more outdoors in. I am not the best at keeping plants alive, but I found these beautiful little succulents. So the rocks I got to go in that other clear jar is very similar to these. But this is already made up. And if I need to, I will paint this over or just leave it because it is a gray. 
So it'll go with the owl. All of this essentially very neutral and it brings some more green in, even though it's a little bit darker. Figured it would go really pretty with my hair also. Whether this goes on my shelf or not, I'm going to keep it somewhere. I just really, really love this. But I'm just not sure where to put it. Okay, next is some more storage. Um, I found this little box. So it's a smaller version of a crate that I already have. But it won't fit on my shelf, so I don't use it. So I was thinking I could put that on the shelf like this. If it'll fit, I'd be willing to stain it or actually, I kind of really like how light it is. So I might just leave it, but we'll see. Again, feedback, please. And then for extra storage, I found these boxes. And they're kind of shallow. They won't hold too, too much, but it would be nice to have some more storage behind me for things that I want to get a hold of right away. And then I got a smaller version of this one, a little bit smaller version. I could fit some smaller items in that. I was thinking to stack these and put them in the middle behind me, but we'll see. What do you think? So that's all the storage. One more item. Okay, so part of my coffee shop life is I love those little A-frame boards that I would put out with our drinks of the day or quotes of the day kind of thing. So I found this little A-frame board. One side is chalkboard. And the other side is dry erase. So I thought that was really cute. So I figured depending what kind of video I do, like if it's an interview, um, like a podcast thing, I could write it on here. I don't know. But I thought that was really cute too. You could also just hang it up over to the side or make it stand. So I would love your feedback. Any ideas you have of where each item could go or what to do with them. Things I am keeping on the shelf. I do want to keep a few of my white books. I'm keeping my, my lamp, my steampunk goggles I'd love to keep. Um, that's part of my geeky side. I love to cosplay with steampunk. And if you don't know what that is, it is Victorian era meets industrial. Yeah, otherwise I am very open to everything else. And I would love to hear your ideas and what you think down in the comments. All right, let me know and I will see you in the next video.